What is the key ingredient to a winning company culture? I think sometimes we forget or we don't think that it's important in a work environment. When we are unaware of emotions, our emotional signals get distorted and people can easily misinterpret them. Wow, this is something that I'm learning that's brand new. And I'm learning it after I've learned MBTI, I've learned Strength Finders, I've done DISC, I've done Hogan, I've done pretty much all of the assessments and still hadn't come to this realization. I didn't have to maneuver through, oh my gosh, I have to worry that this person is going to feel like this other person did something that's going to hurt their feelings or their ego. Think of interaction as a dance, emotion is the music. Instead of, oh, I'm just going to avoid talking about this because I don't know what, what, how that's going to be interpreted to, you know, they're more real. Instead of thinking of it as people I have conflict with, I began thinking about it as a bad cycle that sits in between two people. By getting emotionally connected the way we did, we knew that we had each other's back. When we work together, we depend on each other. This dependency creates an attachment and turns on our bonding needs. Emotional connection is the glue that holds the bond together. And what I'm seeing also in the meetings that conversations are becoming deeper. Because all of that noise was taken away by having the emotional connection with each other, we were able to only focus on the task at hand and getting it done. It doesn't matter who the people are or what the situation was. Every single one of them were incredibly important in that process and, and for me personally. And now, if I go down that entire list, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a cycle issue. And I think this helped us just kind of remember that we are people. It is not so much about a pat on the back or another certificate, free parking or the latest technology. It's about saying you matter. I care about you. You being on this team is important to me.